Doing it against Barry, and Barry won it. Shaw, much too strong. Hoping to pick up number 11, Wagstaff. Will Smith for Coventry. Steen. Mortimer. Going well, this boy. Alderson. Well stopped by Taylor. Willie Carr now. Nobody stretched wide on the flanks. Well taken down by Wagstaff. An early ball, hoping to pick up Richards. Parker's there. Munro knocks it forward again. Dugan against Barry. And Dugan gets the touch on. Richards, the speed of him. He must be in for it. He's got it. John Richards. Six minutes into the game, and young John Richards keeps his cup dive. Goal again, streak going. Scored against Bristol City, scored against Millwall. And here in six minutes, he's put Wolves in front. The through ball. John Richards outstripping young Bobby Parker, who couldn't last the pace on the run towards goal. And Richards slipping it in inside the right-hand post. A tremendous start for Wolves. 1-0. Coventry now. Coming forward, McCallion stops them, and Wagstaff has hardly touched the ball so far. Picks up Shaw. Wide here for Hibbert. Catlin coming in to face him. Good ball. Jimmy McCallion. Just a little bit too fast for him. And McCallion pulled up then. And looking as though he might have pulled a muscle at the back of his right leg. It certainly looked as though he started for that ball. As though he would get it. Dugan. Oh, no. No. John Homewood. Kills Dugan's, kills Dugan's smile of triumph, he spotted a foul inside the six-yard box. 33 minutes into the first half and it's still 1-0. Dugan's header not allowed. Munro up, but it's falling for Steen. A little touch was all that was needed to feed it to uh, Hutchison. Brief reminder for viewers in black and white that the colours may look very similar to you. The Coventry players perhaps quickly identifiable because their numbers are on their dark shorts. Which is all right when they're facing you, but I imagine it's not too good when they've got their backs to you. Dugan got a small tickle on it. Mortimer tries to hook it out, didn't win it. Richards! Whacked down and this penalty is given. Penalty given. The two fullbacks, Catlin and Coop, together, knocking John Richards. Sprawling and referee John Homewood is on that spot. He's given the penalty. Well, Bill G Glazier. Only last week saved a penalty from the best man in the business, Franny Lee. Now the pressure building on Bill Glazier again. I wonder what thoughts are going through his mind. Hibbert is the man that he faces. Hibbert, who's already hit two penalties this season in cup ties. Neither of them in the FA Cup. And Hibbert hits a very firm ball. All the pressure then on Bill Glazier.